Okay, good. So we're now into the last 10 questions from our online assessment test. Question 22 um, is a category of question known as the odd man out, or as you can see from the wording, except. That means four answer choices will help to explain okay, uh, this argument or the process that's reached through to the conclusion. Um, and the additional information of one answer choice will not. Okay, so four will and one will not. Um, uh, it, it's wordy. There are some statistics going on here, but I think with a little bit of logic, uh, you can get to the answer choice. So as I, I'll repeat again, the correct answer choice is the one that does not provide additional information within the scope of the argument, which is so vital, that makes the conclusion more acceptable. So think of it as four will strengthen, one will not. It doesn't mean the, four, uh, the odd one out will, not, uh, will weaken, it will just not strengthen. So, <clears throat> answer choice A. If one of the raw materials used to produce the panels becomes cheaper, then clearly this change constitutes a reduction in costs, possibly leading to increased profits. Okay, that's logical. B. This information in no way helps to convince us that the profits should increase. Okay, hence B is indeed the correct answer. We'll come back to that. See, the manufacturing process, if you think about it, energy is an obvious cost, and hence a lower energy price could lead to a higher overall profit. So that would definitely help to explain it. D, in line with the economy of scale, a larger purchasing power could indeed lead to reduction again to costs and therefore higher profit per unit. Answer choice C, such a subsidy could lead to a higher price to the customer, therefore higher profits to the sellers. Um, you may want to read that one again and think about that carefully, but B is definitely not helping us to understand uh, or to strengthen this particular argument or conclusion. Okay, thank you very much. If you have any questions, this is a tough one. Please do get in contact with us at any time, and I look forward to seeing you in question 23. Goodbye.